So we are going to do another differential equation battle. y double prime plus 2y prime plus y equals 0 versus y double prime plus 2y prime plus y equals e to the negative t. You can pause the video and try each of these first and then come back and watch the rest of the video to see the solution. We'll start out with this equation on the left. Notice that it's already equal to 0, so it's a homogeneous differential equation, which makes it pretty easy. We're going to guess that y equals e to the rt. If we plug that in, we'll get that r squared plus 2r plus 1 is equal to 0. Well, we can factor this as r plus 1 squared equals 0. And therefore, we have r equals negative 1 as a double root. You can watch my video on repeated roots in the description, but what this will give us is that y equals c1 e to the negative t, like we want. So we plug in this negative 1 to e to the rt. But then for the second solution, we can't just put c2 e to the negative t because we already did that. So we have c2, and then we multiply by t e to the negative t. So this is actually the entire solution to this first equation here, nice and simple. We're going to get started on the second equation on the right. So this is an undetermined coefficient situation because the right side is not equal to 0. But if we take a look at this, when we have e to the negative t, normally our particular solution guess would be that the particular is a times e to the negative t for some constant a. And there's a problem with this guess because when we solved this equation over here, y double prime plus 2y prime plus y equals 0, e to the negative t was a solution which means if we plug in e to the negative t to this left side, we're going to get 0, which is clearly not e to the negative t. So what will we do? Well, here is a very good trick when it comes to undetermined coefficients. If you have some guess that you think should work for the solution, and for some reason it's not working, your best bet is to try multiplying it by t. So instead of guessing a e to the negative t, we're going to guess a t e to the negative t. And you might be saying, hold on a minute, mu prime. Look at this, a t e to the negative t. That's the other solution that we got to this equation. It's still equal to 0. What are we going to do now? Take a guess. Of course, we are going to multiply by t again. So we have a t squared e to the negative t. And now we can differentiate this twice and plug it into our equation to get the solution. So I've given us some more space and then done out the first two derivatives of our guess here. And now we can plug them into this differential equation. So I'll step out of frame to give us some space. First of all, we have y double prime. That's going to be equal to a t squared e to the negative t minus 4 a t e to the negative t plus 2 a e to the negative t. Then we have plus 2 y prime. So plus 2 and then negative a t squared e to the negative t plus 2 a t e to the negative t. Lastly, we're going to look at plus y. So that will be plus a t squared e to the negative t. And this is all equal to just 1 e to the negative t on the right side. So now let's take a look at how these things cancel. First of all, if we look at the t squared terms, we have a plus t squared, then minus 2 a t squared, and then plus a t squared again. This entire row is going to cancel out. Next. We have a minus 4at plus 2 times 2at. That's another 4at. Those cancel out. We're left with 2a e to the negative t equals e to the negative t. And of course, we can solve this. That's just going to give us a equals 1 half. And that is the only constant we need in this case. So we can go back to our particular solution and say that it is 1 half t e to the negative t. So let's clear the board a little bit here. So I've cleared the board. Now we have a little more space. This is our particular solution. And then remember, the complementary solution was c1 e to the negative t plus c2 t e to the negative t. And our final answer, y, is going to be the sum of these two. So we'll have 1 half t squared e to the negative t plus c1 e to the negative t plus c2 t e to the negative t. So remember, anytime you're doing undetermined coefficients, if the answer should work and it's not working, just multiply by t.